All right. Welcome to the Extreme Execution High Performance and Mindset Group Call Meeting. All right. I'm here to answer any questions you guys might have and, and provide whatever value I can to you guys. Um, and it's also an open discussion. So I don't want to just lecture and preach. I do that enough as it is with, you know, coaching and all the content I produce. Um, I also want to, you know, have uh, open discussions as well for the other guys that uh, decided to show up to this live call. Um, so with that being said, do you guys have any um, questions that you guys want to go over top of mind? If not, um, I could just address whatever topic um, seems relevant. So any any problems, any struggles, any any questions, anything, any topic you want to discuss today? Ryan, oh Ryan, you came here. I know you're you're at work getting money right now. Uh, what you know? Why why show up to this group call? Do you, is there something you know? I I some struggle, some problem, some goal I could help you out with? Oh, I don't know. Checking things out right now. Fire, fire, fire. Cool, cool. Anybody else? Daniel? Um, Rashawn? No, cool. No, no questions? No, I'm just, I'm thinking right now. Trying to brainstorm a, a relevant question. Mm -hmm. So at uh, the top of mind, right, to just have some sort of thing to discuss, um, right, this group call doesn't need to be long unless something, you know, unless a question does come up or something does, you know, you want something to be addressed, right? This topic comes to mind that has been uh, transparent in my life the last week that's helped me execute on my goals and generate and maximize my results in every single area of life much more efficiently and productively. So it's the idea of ambition, competitiveness, determination with the mixture, the match of being systematical, detail-oriented, and organized. Because I've done uh, just so far this month since I've been certified as, as an extreme execution coach by Eric Thomas, and now I've signed up 11 clients for extreme execution. I've done like over 60 consultations with 60 different people, and uh, I've it, done it with a range of different people. What I've noticed the tendency when it comes to people who are successful is either a match of high pilot and high flight attendant or high flight, high pilot and high air traffic control, right? And when I look at people from the lens of a personality um, and I look at su successful people, people who've either gotten in amazing shape, we're talking about success in the sense of like business, entrepreneurship, money, um, and even fitness, right? I don't know if this exactly works for relation uh, for marriages and relationships. That's probably a different set of personality. But when I look at successful entrepreneurs, successful people who have generated, have made a lot of money or have seen a lot of success in their business, right? I see a trait of having a high level of ambition and competitiveness and being determined to accomplish results and accomplish goals, but also matched with a high level of perfectionism, a high level of wanting things to be done correctly, being th wanting things to be uh, as professional as possible, detail-oriented as possible, and organized. Right. So something I've been applying to my life is leaning into my natural superpower of being a high pilot, being ambitious, being competitive, being determined, leaning into that more, demanding more of myself and others as a coach, demanding more of myself when it comes to my own personal development, my own habits, my own fitness and health, utilizing that more to get better results, but also striving for a level of more organization, more detail orientation, tracking everything more, being more systematical, having more protocols and procedures that I'm following, right? And by doing those two alone, I've been able to see much a much better result in my business and with my coaching clients, right? Now, also keeping in mind that I'm a natural fast-paced type of person. So something I'm also applying is the level of patience is increasing my level of patience. So taking massive action on a daily basis, being extremely detail oriented and organized and systematical in the way that I'm 
taking massive action, but also having a level of patience to be able to prolong how I can do that every single day for days on, weeks on, and months on end, right? An example would be fitness. If we take into a fitness perspective, somebody who's willing to do the workouts, that is willing to follow the meal plan to a T, they want to get a six pack or they want to get an amazing shape, right? They have the ambition for their fitness goals. Now they're also super systematical and detail oriented. They get a meal plan or a workout program from DC, the greatest coach in the world, right? They get they, they get a system, they get a blueprint that's guaranteed to get them results and they follow it to a T, right? But they also have the patience to be able to do that, not expecting the results to happen overnight, not expecting the result to happen in a week or even a month, but being willing to do that for weeks on, months on end, that person is guaranteed to see amazing results in their fitness and health, right? And if we take one, I know I'm going to ask for Sean, but if we take a business uh, perspective, right? Let's uh, let's take a social media perspective. Somebody who has the ambition to build a social media brand, to bring more awareness to their purpose or to their calling or to the business, they have the ambition to do so, they're, will, they're ambitious and determined to put out content and build that brand, right? Now, they're analytical and systematical as far as how they do it, right? So they're doing action. They're taking massive action every day. They're putting out content, but they're systematical and detail-oriented in the way they go about it. And they're also very patient and consistent. So they do it every single day, not expecting to get famous in a week or a day or a month, but willing to do that for a prolonged amount of time. One last example, business, all right? Want to build a business, want to make a lot of money, high level of ambition and competitiveness, want to be successful, determination, right? Taking a systematical approach, having the proper blueprint, the proper systems and protocols to follow, right? And then also, again, not expecting to be super successful, make a crap ton of money in a day or a week, but being able to be patient and consistent over a long period of time, right? So, um, and then also, if you know sales and you know coaching and you know having a girlfriend, having a wife, having relationships, it's striving to be charming, striving to be a little bit more extroverted and speak up a little bit more is what helps you in relationships. And that helps in business, that helps in social media, that helps with friendships, that helps with relationships like girlfriends, wives, right? Is being likable. So being a little bit more social, that's when we're talking about the flight attendant is somebody that's expressive and inspiring, typically have a lot of friends and typically does better in sales, speaking, social media, um, business, is somebody who is likable, which is normally somebody who's expressive in their feelings and emotions and, and things like that. So that's something that I've personally uh, been working on, seeing a lot of results. And um, I thought it would be very valuable for you guys, everyone who's listening and watching this recording and everyone who's attending here live. So um, Rashawn, question. Yes, sir. So, yeah, so really just, um, I think that's a, a good thing to tackle onto, like you're saying about with the patience and uh, and, you know, myself included with a lot of people that I feel like uh, struggle with this is having the patience to know, uh, but also to have, you know, the balance between time managing, managing, you know, not expecting it to happen right away. You know, like instant gratification is oftentimes a lot of things that uh, sadly uh, my generation as well struggles with is just thinking that's just going to be handed to you overnight. Um, but, you know, having that patience, having that mindset, but also have uh, having a balance between managing your time and using that time productively and, uh, you know, wisely, of course, uh, and just being able to fully focus in that. And then on top of that, being able to use, uh, of course, you know, your superpowers, your gifts uh, and how to understand where areas that you lack that you can increase um, and how you can interact and, and understand other people's behaviors as well. But really is the big focus, like you're saying, I think a lot of people struggle is, is, uh, is not is impatience and not understanding when they should take a slower approach and when they should be faster. Cause usually it's, if they take a slow approach, they go too slow to where it leads to, you know, laziness or procrastination. 
or if they take too much of a fast approach and they're just rushing into things impulsively and they're not thinking about their actions nor caring about what the outcome is going to be. They're just like, go, 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 you know, and, and just having that balance yeah. between them. Yeah, it's uh, it's all about situational awareness, right? Because being urgent and fast paced, I'm sure Ryan knows can be very, uh, very important in a certain situation. You got to go, go, go get the job done. We got to, we got to, you know, ambulance, we got to drive as fast as possible. This person just broke his leg or whatever, right? You, you got to save his life, right? And whatever it may be, there's certain situations that are better to be fast paced and urgent, right? And there's other situations. It's better to be more methodical, thoughtful, like a turtle. Let me think about this decision. Let me think about what I'm about to do next. Right. And then same thing when it comes to uh, being ambitious, sometimes it's better to actually be a little bit more reasonable and considerate when making decisions and solving problems. Think about how it's going to affect your family or whatever. But sometimes it's better to actually ramp it up and say, no, I'm going to win. I'm going to be determined. I'm going to do X, Y, Z. I'm going to succeed. Right. Sometimes it's better. Right. Same thing when it comes to being uh, social, right? And when we're talking about being expressive, sometimes it's better to express yourself and be optimistic and give advice and, and blah, 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 right? But sometimes it's better to shut up, listen, not talk, right? Not express yourself. Sometimes it's better to do that, right? And so it's all about situational awareness. And that's why it's super important to understand who you are. And what your natural tendencies and preferences are, because that's the way that you're inclined, but that's not always going to serve you. That could actually hurt you in certain situations. So the better you have a more, you understand, you have more self-awareness around it, the better you're able to master oneself and master situational awareness, right? Um, before my computer dies, I forgot to plug it in. So I'm going to plug in my computer. Any questions, guys? Um, if not... You know, any discussions, anything like that. I hope there was some value here. Um, yeah, I'm plugging my beard just so I don't die on you guys. I've been on coaching calls all day. Um, but I think the main, the main topics, unless there's any questions, the main, the the main points that we went over today is really understanding. Like the, the idea behind using the personality and leadership traits of ambition, right? Because that's why I've noticed when I'm watching podcasts or even looking at myself or anybody who's successful in fitness and business and in, in any field or industry, I see a trait of being able to be super ambitious and determined and competitive, being super perfectionist and analytical and systematic in, in the way they do things, right? Having a prolong, yeah, prolonging instant gratification, being able to be consistent over time, right? Um, being urgent when they need to be, but on a long spectrum, you could see somebody who's doesn't need to be successful in a day or a week or a year. There's somebody that's like, I'm going to be doing this for 30 years. I've already been doing it for 10, right? And that's probably why they're successful is because they've been doing it. They've been super ambitious, striving for perfection for 10 years right and then also i see somebody some traits is they're naturally sociable and and charming and expressive right and that they're likable the main thing is having a trait of likable are you likable right and so strike i am more poker face serious let's solve your goals let's let's accomplish your goals let's solve your problems dc devin Kripe, the greatest coach in the world i'm not necessarily I don't come off as friendly at sometimes. So that's something that I strive for is being more expressive and optimistic and friendly, right? Because that's a huge trait of being successful, right? Maybe not if you're trying to be a successful accountant or a successful, you know, uh, uh, software programmer, right? But if you're trying to be a successful real estate agent, a successful coach, a successful speaker, a successful, you know, you're trying to be successful in your relationships, right? Being expressive and, and likable and friendly is definitely important. Um, so that was huge. And then second is situational awareness, because sometimes it's better to not express yourself, but sometimes, Hey, closed mouths don't get fed, right? Sometimes it's better to be super urgent and fast paced, but sometimes it's better, it's better to be more consistent, predictable, methodical in the way you move. 
Um, when it comes to being ambitious, sometimes it's better to be ambitious and determined and go hard and be commanding of yourself and others. Sometimes it's better to be more agreeable and considerate and, and think about other people's opinions and what they want, specifically in relationships, right? You can think about this. Um, and then lastly, when it comes to following rules and procedures, sometimes it's better to be innovative and, and want to create all these new ideas and do things a new way. But other times it's better to follow the path of the proven way, following the systems and procedures that have already uh, gotten plenty of people's success, right? So using situational awareness is super important. That's why it's really important for you to understand your natural tendencies and preferences based off your personality so you can master yourself um, when it comes to what we're talking about today. So self-awareness and authenticity is is uh, a key to success absolutely um cool guys any any last minute questions any last thoughts before we end this uh group call today um yeah i was gonna say as well i think another big thing uh a big stumbling block that a lot of people run into that can help out uh you just give insight on is um is like is is confidence right having the confidence to to do what you need to do and not trying to now yet you want to set standards for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Obviously you want to expect more from yourself, but you also have to find a boundary between not overwhelming yourself or trying to throw so much on you one day. Like I know, you know, that's what uh, God has told me the other day is, you know, just find one thing that you know that you can do today or whatever. Maybe if you do more than one, that's cool. That, you that is going to continue to strive you closer to that goal or closer to whatever you're trying to solve right so that way you're still being productive but you're not trying to you know what i'm saying like you know i was you know one of my limitations as, as being a high flight attendant is you i have so many things ideas that flows through my mind but being able to actually take a step back and execute on what i'm trying to do rather than trying to just do too many things at once Mm -hmm. So like, you know, focusing more on like, it's my macro over micro. Micro is good sometimes, but really just helping people understand the difference between uh, macro and micro, why they're both important, but why macro could be is more useful in the long run, obviously, because like you said, it's not going to happen overnight. Uh, and just ha ways that people can help, you know, boost their confidence to just kind of get over that leap, get over that rock that they're just trying to push, but they just need to jump over it. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, man. Um, absolutely. hundred percent agree. Cool. Cool. Awesome guys. Well, I appreciate all of you guys showing up today. Um, and we're, we're going to continue doing these. I don't know if we're going to set the time to be at the same time next week. Uh, I'll let you guys know within like the next 24 hours, but we're going to do a 20, 30 minute, uh, zoom group meeting through the extreme execution and high performance and elite mindset, uh, group and the new breed. If you're not a part of the new breed message me, it's a great brotherhood to be a part of. And if you're not a part of the extreme execution, high performance and elite mindset, Facebook group. There's a lot of great resources I put in there as far as high performance, morning routines, uh, fitness course on how to get an amazing shape, a lot of great stuff inside that Facebook group. And we're going to start running challenges inside that Facebook group as well. And then if you guys have any bad habits like weed, alcohol, porn, et cetera, um, the new breed is a great community to be a part of. Um, we're going to be start running challenges on that as well. So appreciate you guys showing up here today. We will definitely be doing this in the next week and, and make it a weekly thing. Um, other than that, guys, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Saturday, a wonderful rest of your weekend. Um, God bless you and uh, keep on striving for greatness and living up to your full potential. All right. Be good. Be great. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good one.